perfect uh, vessel. And through Herod's wife, that was the end of it. She just told him when I party that I would like his head to, I would like to make head soup. John the Baptist head soup in a plate. And that was the end of it. This is the end of Elijah. This is the end of, go and, go and anoint Elijah to succeed you in place. Put the King James here. Go and anoint Elijah in thy room to be a prophet in your room. In your room. So obviously you will not be there. That's the end of it. Yeah. So it's amazing. And that's why you need to know how to talk. You can't just say things. You don't know what you are saying. This is a text message that I've ended this thing. Just one word like that. Why this? Do you want to? Are you, are you on a, Why this? O, A, E, A. Pa, finish of ministry. So one person ministry ended. It will never happen to you in the name of Jesus. It will never happen to you in the name of Jesus. Hey, but if your ministry becomes powerful like Elijah, then I think you may have to prepare for something like this. Yeah. How many are going to have a powerful ministry like Elijah? Hey, so are you going to have this type of trouble too? You'll be ready for it? you ready at 20? Wow. You just take a light gun, isn't it? And give it the same treatment. Yeah. Wow. And it was quite sudden, eh? Elijah's ministry ended suddenly. John the Baptist's ministry ended suddenly. No, no one is expecting God to react like this. Yeah. You will never be depressed in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Loneliness and hardness. How many feel that Elijah was lonely? Was he hard? It was hard. It was lonely, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you need to do well in the ministry. No other person is with you. You are moving on. It is going to work. Yeah. Failure is not an option. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, loneliness and hardness. Our last candidate is John the Baptist. Wow. Hmm. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. Luke. Do you know Luke? How many are glad for pure salvations? You want people to stop being saved? No, 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 no. We need people to be saved. Wow. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Satan is is a failure. Now, in the 15th year of Tiberius, Pontius Pilate being governor, Ananias and Cephas being high priests, the word of God came to John in the wilderness. And he came into all the country preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, this is John the Baptist preaching. Isaiah. So, John the Baptist was preaching Isaiah. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled. Hallelujah. And every mountain and every hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough 
ways shall be made smooth. Amazing. Hmm? Now, this is an amazing message. Amen. Amen. Now, Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort ye my people, comfort ye, saith your God. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for a God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places played, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Wow, amazing. Now, Luke chapter 3, as it is written in the book of Isaiah, verse 4. Notice Luke. Notice, I just want you to notice something. What do you notice about John the Baptist? He came and people said he has no original message. He's just preaching Isaiah's message. You know, when I heard people are teaching, if you want to learn how to preach, huh? You are in this church. Listen to preaching and preach the same thing. Just learn how to preach the same thing. That was John the Baptist. He just came and preached Isaiah 40. 100%. And look at the results he had. Jesus said he was the greatest. When I started teaching people to do this, people thought I was whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They said you are a clone, you are this, you are that. People are not original, they are not studying the Bible. All kind of stupid comments. All right? Stupid. Right? How do you say it? stupid? Right? Stupid. Listen to me preaching and learn and if you can achieve what I have achieved by preaching. Through preaching. It's, it's, it's something. I'm telling you. I can't lie to you. See, I will not say it to certain people anymore. But I'm saying to you, just learn it. That's how I learned how to preach. And you see that after he preached Isaiah's message, then he launched and started calling people vipers and so on. Which was his original, I mean like this was something, but it was like, it, it comes from having, you copy, you copy you get what I'm saying? And at least try to get to Isaiah's level. Then after that, boom. Vipers. Yes. Because there will always promise there will be some things that are unique to you. But that's not how to learn how to preach. And you cannot say you've learned how to preach until you start having the same results. You know, listen. You know why I spoke about the Botswana? Because I noticed this effect in different places. In Botswana, I noticed the effect of the Holy Spirit working on people and saving people. It's something I notice. And as I'm here, I notice. So what, if you ask me, what do I notice most about being at this first love camp? The thing I notice most about this first love camp is the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's, that's to me the most... No, although, maybe, you may think I notice your green shirt or... <laughs> Whatever, but to me, the thing I notice most about this camp is the work of the Holy Spirit in convicting people and bringing people to Jesus. It's the number one thing that I notice here. But for me, that's, that's what I've noticed. And I feel the presence of God changing people and saving people. It's, it's what I notice. Yes, that's what I know. That's why I say you are within striking distance of 5,000. Yes. That's what I notice. I notice. You can do it and do more. And I know all the things I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to struggle with you. You'll be jumping out at me, say, Come on, jump up at me. Jump, come. You come, 
He said, I want to go to Minnesota. I said, no, stay here. I need you to stay here. There are souls here. And you said, I want to know. I said, no, 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 no. I need you here. And that's how everybody here is going to be. Jumping. I said, no, no, no. I, I, you misunderstood my message. Don't, don't take it so literally at this very moment. Stay around for, yeah, please. You, 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 please, there are a lot of souls here. Stay here. And stay, stay. Instead of this hauling dead dogs, dead horses, God forbid you ever be a dead horse. Never in first lap. As soon as you start that spirit, you'll be moved to another denomination. I don't want to mention any, any denomination. <laughs> we can even form a new denomination for you. But now, now we are used to planting denominations. <laughs> And unanointed people is also something we, we don't want like past people that are not anointed. Like you, you, you don't have the Holy Spirit working. Yeah, the Holy Spirit has to work because we are nothing. 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 You know one of the things that happened to me now. I just I just feel like let me read scriptures to people and just because it's oh good enough. This is the, if I repeat these words, they are good words. Yes, the Holy Spirit has to work to pe- work on people. Yeah, I just read words and then move on. It's powerful. People, I don't know how people are changed. People are changed by God. Just talks to the people. Yeah, I don't have to say special words, carve it out. There's nothing. Just these are not the verses. Are yeah, yeah. Am I not reading scriptures to you? I mean, have you not been here? I've been reading scriptures to you. I'm just showing you what things that are in the Bible. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Verses. That's it. Matthew 5, Isaiah 9, Matthew 4, 30, Matthew 5, 15. You are learning the scriptures. Yeah. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. So, John the Baptist, you know. He started by preaching Isaiah's old message from Isaiah 40. Just came to repeat the same words. And Jesus said he's the greatest. Yes. And you see, many people don't know this is the great way to preach. Anything I'm preaching, you can ask me where I got it from. I will tell you if I want to. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> but do I have secrets? Am I not sharing all? all? I'm sharing a lot of things. I said this, 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 this. Yes, I tell you the book. Yeah, I read the book to you. Yeah, yeah. Rarely do I have a book that you don't know about. I have a book. I tell you, this is the book. Yeah. yeah. My songs, the songs, these songs. I told you, I, I got a lot of the words from the words of William Carey. I don't try to sound like I'm so, like, so, like, you know, kind of great commissional type of, like, a, I'm something very. This is, this are, this are, yeah. This is what I got. I want to be at least like John the Baptist photocopy from at least half of the message, the full thing is gone through. It was later that he started calling people vipers. That's his original message. <laughs> yes. Is it not amazing? How many are going to become wild preachers? Look at that little girl. Where is she? Nelly? Is it Nelly? Look at this little thing. a little something here. Come. How can a little something like this be a powerful preacher? By listening to... Do you listen to preaching messages? Yes, please, Bishop. By the grace of God. (laughs) Yes, please. Look look at the camera. Look at it. Look at at little something. We have people here that are pointing to her as they are... are, uh, This is the preacher. What messages have you been listening to? 
uh, this uh, this Sunday, um, the Sunday that's just gone, we had to preach on um, those who, uh, those who pretend, and we had to preach on the title um, familiarity, signs of, signs of uh, familiarity. I was like, oh, I don't know how. What <laughs> what can I say about this? So I went on um, YouTube and I typed in um, um, Bishop Dagwood Mills, um, those who pretend. And then there was a message there, so I, li uh, <laughs> so, um, so I listened to the whole message, and I came to preach it. And then I was like, you're being blessed, isn't it? <laughs> so, so this is why you should come to camp, because as you're being blessed by this message, I'll copy the whole message from YouTube <laughs> by listening to um, the prophet. So, so uh, from that Sunday, people registered to come to the camp. So I was like, why do I not always do this? <laughs> but yes, yes. Why do you always do what? I said, because um, th there are times when I first started preaching, because um, like books like, um, um, uh, dan what, what was this? Spiritual Dangers. Yeah, so those, when, I, when I was preaching on that book, I was like, uh, okay, I can preach on this, you know, because I can relate uh, <laughs> spiritual dangers about fornication and stuff. So, um, so when I was, when, but re the recent messages that I have to preach, I was like, I don't know how to preach these messages. So I've just been listening to messages before I go and preach them. And I'll just copy exactly what you've been saying and then I'll give it. And the people are blessed? They're, they're more blessed than when I come and just preach whatever I think I should preach. They're more blessed when I preach what, you, what I got from listening to how you preached it. So it's just amazing. So, You're just like John the Baptist. Amen. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, that's all God wants. What are you? You see, Billy Graham said, he learned something. He said, if the Bible is the word of God, then what he should do is to repeat the words of God and the people will be blessed. If it's the word of God, then just repeat it. And that's how I learned how to preach at crusades. I learned from Billy Graham. I look at exactly how he preached. The same on the topics. And I just I learned it like that. Well, I made notes of Billy Graham's messages. And I listened to it over and over again. And I was so angry with them. Because they don't have many messages online. <laughs> because I have everything. Yeah. That's why I have a lot of messages online. You can find yeah, the video. Listen, if you want to be a preacher, and you see, look at me, preaching, preaching is a great job. Preaching is a great job. I mean, I'm a doctor and I'm, look, I'm preaching. Medical doctor, I'm preaching. I mean, it's far higher. Don't tell the doctors, it's far higher than being a doctor. Far Far. I know doctors are science students, but it's still far higher. The Bible is neither arts nor science. It's supernatural. Yeah. All right. So, John the Baptist. Yeah. Uh, this is a world that has prepared the way of the Lord. Exactly same words. Same words. And remember when Jesus came to preach also? He came and preached Isaiah. Isa, Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This, this. And he closed the book and said, it's fulfilled. <laughs> so both Jesus and John the Baptist were copiers of Isaiah's messages and just repeaters. Yes. Learn it. Let's not have these pe pe people who can't preach. I don't, I don't accept it. If you're going to talk to somebody about Jesus, there are preaching messages, salvation throughout. You get it on the internet. There are plenty free. Is it clear? How many are going to be like at least Jesus? Try to learn like Jesus and then John the Baptist. Are they good examples for you to learn? Now, continue. Verses. 
And then every valley shall be filled, rough ways, same thing. The next verse, verse 6, all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Verse 7, and he said to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, he saw the wickedness in them. Who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? You see, hardness to call somebody a snake. You snakes. You snakes. Snake. Can you imagine calling, calling somebody snake? Charlie, the guy was hard. Strong. Very strong. The strongest so far. Oh, generation of vipers, who warned you to flee? Verse 8. Bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. Don't say we have Abraham. He was somebody who preached real things. Don't stand there and say Abraham. He addressed what they were thinking. Not this type of theoretical singing preaching. Right? We have Abraham to our father. God is able to make stones to, to be his children. You snakes. And the axe is laid to the root. Hey, you are going to be cut down. These are not nice prophecies. You are going to be cut down. The axe is already on the root. It's about to just slice you off. If you like, don't bring food. You'll be cast into fire. Fire. Axe. Hard. And alone. It was a lonely voice. Yeah. And the people asked him, saying, what shall we do? There must always be something to do at the end of your message. Give your life to Jesus. Kneel down. Yes. Don't be, don't be afraid to let anybody know. Kneel down, kneel down. I was once with a queen. I said, kneel down. Kneel, kneel. Kneel down. It's only the pastor's job that you can. You can't, if you're a bank manager, you can't ask somebody to kneel down. <laughs> but we are representing God. Yes. Yes, so say, kneel down. Kneel down. Wow. wow. And then he said, he, if you have two quotes, let him impart to him that has none. And he that has meat, let him do likewise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then also publicans came to be baptized and said unto him, Master, publicans are sinners. What shall we do? And he said to them, Don't take more than is appointed to you. Verse 14. And the soldiers also, like all types of people were being saved. Publicans, they were tax collectors. Sinners, Pharisees, I mean soldiers. I said, what, what shall we do? He said, don't do violence to anyone. Be content with your wages. Wow. And as the people were in expectation, all men mused in their hearts whether he was Christ. You see, then he says real things. Continue. And John answered and said, no, 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 no. Don't think I am. I'm not this. I'm not. I'm nothing. There is somebody far greater than me. That makes John the Baptist great. They don't think I'm this. I'm not. I'm, not a, I'm NATO. 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 Yes. That's why I say I sense here the Holy Ghost. Amen. Saving people. Amen. Changing people. Amen. Changing lives. Amen. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And uh, I'm not worthy. Who, what's next? Whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge the floor. He will burn with fire unquenchable. Wow. wow. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod the Tetrarch being reproved by him for Herod, Herodias his brother Philip's wife and for all his evils which Herod had done added yet above all that he shut up John in prison huh now john was in prison is he alone or is with people they didn't arrest anybody only john are you ready to be alone are you ready to go to prison alone for jesus are you ready to be the only one in one circumstance i'm the only person are you ready yes loneliness and hardness makes you a great man and woman of the lord amen Tell somebody, I am, ready. I am ready. Hey, there are some people at the back there. <laughs> you see, the way they turn around and look this way. All those two guys t- who turn around, these two guys here. Yeah. You see, 
they, they, they were sitting down like this then. When they got up, then they turned around like this. Then. This, these two guys here, yeah, the one with his hand on his head, and the other guy. And the guy started, bring them here, please. Bring them here. To the middle here, to the middle. Bring them to court. All right. Glory to God. Step back, step back. Step back. Now ask them whether they were trying to deceive us. Where, 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 where are you from? Which, which church? Which church? Leicester. First love, Leicester. And you, what about you? Nottingham. Give him a microphone. Has God done something for you? First love, Leicester. Um, basically, before I came to um, Christ, I was a uh, fornicator, and um, I used to masturbate a lot and um, watch porn um, a lot. But um, when I um, came to Christ in First Love, I was invited by my family friend when I first came to First Love, and um, she just told me to come to church. And I, and I thought if I just come to church, I'll just go for Sundays, and that's it. But um, it was when... I remember the, um, the time I, got, I actually got saved. It was in second year, and it was Pastor Mano that preached. And he preached, and, um, and um, he, he, I think he, he preached on your book on um, how to be born again and avoid hell. And by then, I thought I was born again before I came to, um, before I came to Christ. But um, I was living in the life of deception and misconception. So I just want to thank God for your life for, for bringing um, um, Bishop Richard to UK and, then, uh, and also sending Pastor Mano to Leicester to bless me especially and yeah so what about our brother here um, I grew up in a Christian family my dad is a pastor my mom deals with the children's church in my church back in Nigeria and I grew up in church, learned everything. And then the things I, I wasn't allowed to do, not that I wanted to do them, but I never had the freedom to be able to do anything if I wanted to. And then I came to university in, in Nottingham, and then I started living a double life because I joined um, First Love. But then, um, you know, when the, the most difficult people to teach are those that know. So, because I, I thought I knew, and I just, okay, this is what he's going to say. I didn't really take it seriously. And then, after speaking to my shepherd at the time, Charles, he, he made me see um, where I was going wrong. I made some mistakes on the way as well. And by God's grace now, I'm... The dancing stars ministry shepherd of the University of Nottingham. Wow. Now, why were you sitting down there and then you stand up when, like, you immediately stand up and then you turn around? Like, were you trying to deceive the rest of us? No, sir. <laughs> I, I was. No bishop, sorry. I was standing on the chairs and then I sat down to take notes. And then... Where are the notes? Where are the notes? Where are the notes? The notes? Okay. Sat down to take notes. Current notes. And then what about you? Yes, I was also taking notes as well. Yeah. My notes, 
I left my pad on my chair when you called me up. You left your my um writing pad on in the chair. Bring bring it, bring it. I'm not preaching. I'm <laughs> Is this it? Show the guys. Show the security guys. Is it current notes? It's about six minutes. Seven minutes. Six minutes off. What's the last one? The last session. No, 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 it was. Was it last time? It wasn't. It wasn't the last session, Bishop. It was um because you you were talking about John the Baptist, and um it was when you were talking about how if we want, if we, we want to be, be like John the Baptist, and then afterwards you said something about um if we if we want to learn to preach. Like I want to be a um, um, uh, preacher, and um, you said, <laughs> you said, <laughs> you, um, you said, if you want to um, um, know how to preach, I mean, you need to um, um, learn to be like John the Baptist, and and if you want to know how to preach, you need to wait. Shh. If you, if you can't say you know how to preach on t- well, you can't say you know how to preach until you get the same results and then yeah um so it, so it means it means that this guy what, rather was not i mean yeah. he was rather not hearing he was rather not listening so it's like he you have rather missed hand your weapons to somebody hand your weapons okay you guys are released you can go this guy hands up Okay, Thank you. You, are, you are blessed. You are blessed. Step this back. security man, ste- step, step back. back. Hands up. <laughs> I want to see. Go. Okay. Ah. But why why the wickedness? Three of you line up here. Three of you, okay, you, you are released, the three of you. Three of you. Got, yeah, you can take your weapon back. You don't have to be excessively, you have to be full of kindness. One, two, three, line up, hands up. Let the three of them be clear, separate, come on. All three. Go. Okay, okay. Revenge. Ha! Go back to your seats. Go back to your seat. We are going to take an offering. All right.
They are complaining. Are you complaining?